Hi guys! This video is really, really super sped up. It's a Canada Day face paint because, you know, fun times. I haven't been doing many face paints recently, so I figured it would be the time. I'm gonna ramble and tell you what I'm doing at the same time. It's gonna be great. First off, I'm just kind of drawing out my shape, which I doodled um, when I was on reception last time. On a piece of paper that I happen to have, I was thinking about masks and superheroes and what a Canada mask would look like. Actually, I think I started with um with Great Britain and the Union Jack, thinking that that would make a really cool half mask, and then that just grew into Canada. And I have one for the U.S. too, but that's not going up, because <laughs> it's Canada Day. Stupid Americans haven't had their day yet. It's tomorrow. I don't care. Um, as I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row in front of me in this lovely video, it's white face paint going in to fill that in first because it's much easier to cover white with red than red with white. Uh, yeah, I. Things have been going pretty well here, and getting a better hang on what I'm supposed to be doing. And, yeah. Went for a wander yesterday, it ended up being 9 kilometers, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> trying to think of things to tell you. I had Chinese last night. Uh, if you can hear that in this narration, that would be my roommates vacuuming their floor. Yeah, I'm going to do that soon too. Uh, yeah. I have all sorts of projects that I keep coming up with. I'm like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do the other thing and ah! Yep, it's official. Work gets in the way of things I want to do. And I, I know nobody's surprised by this. If you can hear the roaring in the background, that would be the road with big trucks going down it. My weird thing I just did in the video there was me blowing, trying to blow on my eyelids to try the face paint there. It worked pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, I have a couple of projects in the mix. Got my massive cross stitch, which you guys can see once it's done. So it's so close to done, I don't want to show it to you right now. I have things I still need to knit. I'm sorry, Cassie. I plan to have them done in time to give to you before I left, but I failed. So I'll give them to you when I get back. And then I have, it's kind of, you know, once I finish the things for Cassie, I'll have free knitting needles. So I'm going to knit this crazy, you know, knitted in the round Griffin pattern toque and gloves and scarf and socks and I don't know if I'm going to get around to it. Well, probably in here for a long time. But I think my my current project right now that whenever I'm done recording this narration and get this uploaded, I'm gonna go do is I'm going to go by the, stop by the craft store and see if they have materials for Annie. If you're watching this, Annie, um, remember when we visited the uh, royal the the crown jewels and we saw most of the crowns and it was like ah they're all so shiny. And then there was Queen Victoria's tiny little, like, fascinator crown, and it was adorable. And I was going, I'm gonna make myself one of those! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make myself one of those. I'm gonna go get the materials. I'm, I'm gonna do the thing. And then I'm gonna wear it around, and no one's gonna know what I'm wearing. Or maybe they will. And then I'll get in trouble. It won't be a good enough fake that I'll get in trouble, but it'll be fine. <laughs> You know, when I started this video, I was all like, yeah, it'll be fine. I'll totally have things to talk about for seven minutes. And yet, as we're going along... Oh, thinking of. So once you're done filling in with your sort of grayish white color because your face paints were dirty, uh, go in with a lovely bright red and fill in all the rest of it. It's fairly self-explanatory, really. And take a lot longer on it than I did because this took me like a half an hour and my edges are messy. It's sad. So if you're doing this, you put love and effort and care into it. Uh, Calgarians! I, I heard there were fireworks from the Center Street Bridge 
get pictures of that, you should hook me up with those, because yeah, that sounded really cool. It's only in watching this now that I'm realizing that the color of red I'm painting on my face and the color of red of my bandana, like, match. Darn near perfectly. Wasn't planning that, it just happened. And I have it's red and a bit of, you could use black, I'm using purple. It's the darkest color on my palette. And it, you know, I didn't want it to be super harsh and go in and shade a little on your maple leaf. Sort of make it look a little more dimensional and cool. I miss people there. I miss. I miss all of you. I'm gonna go talk and see if I can maybe chat my way into a choir tomorrow, which would be delightful. So, got all that done, and then I tried to highlight the flag with my white eyeliner, but my white eyeliner was done. So, went and grabbed some white eyeshadow. Which stuck really well to the dried face paint, actually. I was quite proud. And it was also sparkly, so it caught the light really well. Yeah. This is just going into any big spaces and kind of highlighting as as light would hit your face, basically. If there is light shining on you, it will hit these spots, so put some white eyeshadow there. Just make them brighter. Yay! And I'm taking a little bit of black to a little bit of black eyeshadow to reaffirm my maple leaf and then making my mask actually look like a mask. I have no idea what I just lip synced there. Like, I'm sure I knew when I recorded it, but now I have no idea. Yeah, just put a sh shade in there and there you go. You're, you're beautiful. Happy Canada Day. Bye guys. Love you all. And I'm sorry about the endless muttering in the background there. <laughs>